hi i know i didn't post a season 3 episode 5 video so today's video is episode 5 of season 3 and episode 6 of season 3 the rising of a shield hero season 3 episode 5 is nafumi philo and raptalia make their way to the village and they get attacked by two men we currently do not know why other than not everyone in the anime world likes the shield hero why they are attacked nafumi philo and raptalia are losing the fight between the two men they are saved by a woman who is a vessel weapon wielder from a destroyed world. With the vessel weapon wielder and Reptalia, they are able to win the fight. They take her back to the village and feed her. She says her name is Zin Locke. Locke tells us these men are from her world. Locke says she has been watching Nafumi. The character asks what she was doing. She was the killer doll and now she is a good person from another world. She just wants to help Nafumi me though and she tells him that our characters never ask why she has trouble speaking when Locke talks it is as if she is a robot in a bad area with no service and the service is failing we cannot hear all her words or if we do there is some glitching sound in the background Nafumi says Locke's world was destroyed and her saying the word world confirms his theory that there are other worlds which didn't we all know this? Our main cast, mainly Nafumi, has fought other characters from other worlds. Did he forget those happened during those sages with the four heroes have to show up to fight the rifts? Learning about other worlds in episode 5 of season 3 should not be a big deal. If anyone is watching and listening to this video that is out late, comment below on should Nafumi know or not know of other worlds. Because I thought he should know, like they should all have have already known. Nafumi wants to know what a vessel weapon wielder from a destroyed world means. I have not read the manga. I'm going to say this is all very literal. A vessel weapon wielder is similar to the cardinal heroes. Locke has a weapon she can use to fight. The destroyed world is her world is gone. Destroyed world. The world has been destroyed. Is Nafumi being really stupid in this episode? In the morning, Locke uses magic in front of some children for entertainment. Eclair and Kiel tell Nafumi training was good. Nafumi says it is time for class updates. So now Nafumi's party has more in it. They are the kids in the village, but since they are now in his party and they get a class update, does that mean they will have to fight the rifts? Kiel is brought to the blacksmith because he also wants to be a blacksmith. He is going to learn how to be a blacksmith, but we don't really see that. The scene just ends when Nafumi says, hey, this kid here, Kill, wants to be a blacksmith, and then it just ends. In the village, we see the siblings training. Alta is doing better at walking by herself. Alta can even fight. Fall and Alta act like siblings and bicker, which means nothing. There's just a cute sibling scene. Eclair tells Nafumi that the men who attacked them worship the three heroes and their village was destroyed, so they needed money and they came to Nafumi's village to get slaves for money. Eclair also says there are bandits around. Nafumi gets some of his party together and they will look in smaller groups for the bandits hideout. Nafumi is on the search to look for the bandits and he finds Mako Asu and Ren, who Ren is the bandit possibly? Makasu and Ren are fighting. Ren's weapon looks like there is malice around it. Either Ren was turned evil or bitch did something to Ren that Ren willingly chooses this life, which we will learn in episode 6, which is right now. Rising of a Shield Hero Season 3 Episode 6 is all about Ren. We learn more about Ren. Episode 6 is in the real world. We are in Japan. Ren is in school and he doesn't want to play a game with others. When he gets home from school, he plays a video game called Brave Star Online. Ren loves playing this video game and defeating monsters, saving the day. But his team loses. This is the moment that broke Ren. Ren doesn't understand how his party lost. Ren wanted nothing to do with Nafumi. Ren chooses Bitch. Bitch that very night betrays him like she did Nafumi similarly. For Ren, Bitch stole all his equipment. She leaves a note saying Ren is useless. How can Ren be useless in this video game that he has worked so hard on? Ren truly does think he is playing a video game and none of this is real life. This is why Ren is not 
feeling well. We are just focusing on how Ren is freaking out. His fantasy is turning into reality. Ren leaves the inn and the two men in episode 5 who attacked Nafumi, Reptalia, and Philo attack Ren. Ren is experiencing something off and he runs away from the two men. He goes into a house. Ren tells the mother and daughter he is being chased. It is not safe outside. The mother tells Ren to leave. He didn't protect them against the turtle, which the turtle was the monster that killed Ren's party. The mother does not like Ren. She pushes Ren outside and other villagers agree they do not need the sword hero. Ren runs to the forest where the bandits are living in. Ren gets angry about this world. He will live alone. His eyes turn red. He has red symbols appear on his face. His sword is surrounded by purple light. Ren defeats the bandits. Time passes and Makoasu finds Ren. They fight. Now as Makoasu and Ren fight, Nafumi appears and we are now in present time. This is where episode 5 ended. Makoasu's spear is the one surrounded by a purple light, not Ren's sword. Makoasu is here to protect his love, Philo's village. Ren attacks Nafumi. Nafumi notices Ren is under a curse series. Ren got taken over by greed in the curse series. Makoasu has his spear looking like malice. Is he under a curse series? Nafumi, while fighting, asks where bitch is. This makes Ren angry. Nafumi tries to calm him down. It doesn't work. Ren keeps fighting Nafumi. Nafumi's search party appears. Nafumi tells them to not get involved. Ren makes a monster out of money. Nafumi protects Retalia against it. Naftalia and Ren fight. Eclair goes to fight Ren alone with approval from Nafumi. Eclair asks what Ren desires. Ren says he wants to be the strongest. Ren will be strong to save the world. Eclair says no. He was given that mission. What does Ren himself want? Ren freaks out over the answer. Nafumi says he has a curse series himself. His curse series is gluttony. It hasn't been said, and it isn't said in this episode. I'm going to guess Makoasu has a curse series based off of how his spear is looking in this episode. Makoasu's curse series, I'm guessing, is lust. I'm guessing lust because we've already had the words gluttony and greed said. Those are only said for the seven deadly sins, so we're going to get a seven deadly sins plot now. So Makoasu loves women, he loves Philo, so that is why I say lust. He is lust, I am guessing. Ren is still freaking out over everything in life, and he summons monsters. Eclair defeats them. Eclair is able to knock out Ren. Eclair tries to show Ren it is okay. Ren doesn't shake or take her hand. The two men who attacked Nafumi and Ren appear. They try to fight. However, Makuasu is smart and does not let the one man finish his spell and kills him. Which, yes, if there is a mage, a mistake that every single character makes in every TV show and movie is... They let them finish talking. No, you cannot let them finish talking. And Makoasu does that. Even though the man wasn't talking, his spell was still forming and Makoasu was like, nope, this isn't happening. I'm stopping it before it even begins. He then kills the next man. Makoasu is a cool character right now. The others are impressed by him. They notice two floating spirits and Reptalia kills them. Hopefully this time, the two men will not be coming back. Eclair asks if Ren wants to become strong with them. Eclair says he can be strong. We see Ren in Japan saving a group of females by getting stabbed, so the girls don't. Eclair says Ren will make a great training partner. Episode 6 ends with Nafumi, Magasu, and Ren becoming a team. They will train together and they will protect this world. Maybe Ren knows this is not a video game, or maybe he still thinks it is. However, we'll do better on becoming a proper character. Three out of the four cardinal heroes are together. The only one left is Itsuki, the bow hero. Go comment below on if you like or hate season three so far. For me, in the beginning to now, everything has definitely changed. When we met Sedina in the Battle Royale arena, then we went to a village, and now we are focusing more on the Carno heroes. Like, so much has changed 
since episode one of season three to now. I do like how all the cardinal heroes minus one are together, and I did like the battle morale. I just don't know if I would have liked them within the same season like they currently are, or if I would like them as their own separate season. I am enjoying right now watching The Rising of a Shield Hero season three. Thank you for watching.